Morning everyone, it is morning coffee time. We are going to be continuing on our discussion of logical fallacies. And today we are gonna be going over the ad hominem uh, logical fallacy. And the ad hominem logical fallacy is attacking your opponent's character or personal trait in an attempt to undermine their argument. Ad hominem attacks can take the form of overtly attacking somebody or casting doubt on their character. The result of an ad hominem attack can be to undermine someone without actually engaging with the substance of their argument. And an example is, after Sally presents an eloquent and compelling case for a more equitable taxation system, Sam asks the audience whether we should believe anything from a woman who isn't married, was once arrested, and smells a bit weird. Um, and the reason why I like bringing up this logical fallacy is I feel like a lot of the discussions and debates that we have today, uh, whether they're personally or what you see on uh, on TV or in uh, in politics, a lot of them go to the ad hominem uh, logical fallacy, right? Where they're not really arguing on the merit of the debate or, <clears throat> sorry, the merit of the points of the opposing party. They go straight to attacking the character of the person or attacking the character of the people who must be like this person. Um, and what that does is it's just another attempt to get people to react in an emotional way and say, you're right. You know, I can't support, uh, what is it, Sally? I can't support Sally because uh, she was once arrested. So if she was arrested, she's a criminal and she must not be able to give any good points on, on the taxation system, right? Or um, I think another good one uh, from our political, our recent, I guess, uh, elections last year for the presidential elections was when um, Hillary, what did she, what did she say? She said half, I think half of Trump supporters are deplorables. Um, and what she was doing was she was taking her party and she's, she's trying to take the people that are kind of in the middle, I think, you know, that are not really decided whether they were gonna go for Trump or Hillary and say, well, you gotta be with us because the people that support Trump are deplorables. They're the people that, that don't even belong in society. Um, unfortunately, what she did was she actually, I think, um, made people go against her because people don't, don't like, a lot of people don't like ad hominem attacks, uh, which is a good thing, but other people, it, it really casted them against the opposing party, right? Now, the downside is, uh, one, it, it's not really, it's not really attacking the actual issues that need to be attacked. And two, um, what we have now is we have people who are so dead set against opposing people because they think they're these, these lesser people, right? These, these lower level citizens um, because they're either too stupid or too arrogant, too bigoted, too hate-filled for, for this side to even deal with them. Um, and you see it on both sides. Um, you know, there's, there's people on the right and people on the left that are both that way. And I think the big thing here is you've got to realize that people in general are doing what they think is right. Um, and it doesn't make, make them any, any more lesser right than you are, but you've got to get away from trying to attack their personal character and you've got to go back and start looking at the, the merits of their, of their points, right? The, what they're actually saying and if it holds any, it holds any weight or any truth. Um, so I think in short, stay away from ad hominem attacks. If you're having a debate with someone, you don't need to go and attack their personal character or that they smell funny or the way they look. You need to, you need to stick with the actual debate at hand and, and deal with the issues if you're gonna get anywhere in life. So um, pay attention to that. Kind of take a look at that in yourself and see if you're guilty of either falling for it or using it and uh, try to avoid it from this point forward. All right guys, that's it. Tomorrow we will be talking about special pleading um, and we'll just continue on our path of logical fallacies. Have a good day.